O kayo may begin. Okay, good morning everyone. So for our today's discussion, we were going to discuss preparing an ESP curriculum. Our, uh, our learning objectives are at the end of the discussion, the students expected to, uh, number one, identify the factors in preparing an ESP curriculum and differentiate the methods of assessing the learners, assessing the learner's needs. After considering the factors involved before starting preparing, the preparation of the ESP curriculum, the following must be done. So number one, needs assessment. Number two, relating the content of occupations, disciplines, etc. And last, identifying and analyze, analyzing the essential language and discourse. discourse. So this is the three uh, factors we need to consider in preparing uh, ESP curriculum. The first one is needs assessment. In needs assessment, it is obligatory to identify the student's needs as integral to curriculum design and evaluation. Of course, we first need to identify the student's needs. What uh, what they need to learn, what are the aspects they need to learn in uh, in studying the language. Next is ESP courses focus on teaching language and communication skills. That specific language learners need to perform effectively in their uh, di disciplines of study, profession, or workplace. When we're talking about uh, ESP courses, we need to, it means that uh, we were talking about a specific language needed in their workplace, in their profession, or in their study. That's why we have a uh, different, that's why the different courses have their own, uh, have their own, have their own uh, specific language to learn. Like for example, uh, like for example, in in law, in law students, they they have what we call stenograph. stenograph. They are using that, uh, they, they are using stenography as their language. It, when we were talking about language, we were not talking about the, uh, the oral. We're not just talking about the oral, but also the written. When we were talking about the language, this is uh, how they use or how are they using the language in their specific uh, play, in, in their specific uh, specific course. Let's go back to the uh, example earlier. Uh, in law, they were using stenography because it, uh, they are using that most of them they need to master stenography. It's because that's uh that's their code or that's how they use their uh the language. Kasi di ba? Kasi di ba when we were uh when we were when they were teaching the uh the law, meron meron silang masyadong mahaba, masyadong mahaba yung mga ginagawa nila. Unlike in stenography, stenography kasi most likely pa uh, mga strokes lang yun. Then, already, nakakonstruct na sila ng sentence. So, yun yung sinasabi natin, or yun yung sinasabi natin na needs nila in terms of language. It can also be used to evaluate learners and the learning at the end of the period. Of course, pagkatapos, there's always an assessment afterwards. Kung kailangan ba? Kung kailangan ba? At kung para ba dun sa learning? kung tugma dun sa si curriculum na ginagamit natin. That's why kailangan natin siyang i-assess. Sophisticated and process-based methods of assessing the learner's needs includes the following. The number one, 
questionnaire, questionnaires and surveys. So, in its assessment, we are using tools to conduct it. And uh, these are these are the tools that they were that we were using. Number one is questionnaires and surveys. This can be administered by giving the survey and questionnaires to the learners themselves or the or to whom they will be speaking. So in questionnaires or surveys, these are the list of questions that we ask to the uh, learners. Interviews of experts, students, and stakeholders. Some of the talks about uses and functions of specific linguistic items in this course are particularly for the academic <coughs> purposes. So, uh, why do we need to assess the language? Why do we need need uh, needs assessment? It's because uh, the needs the needs of the students changes through time. That's why we need also to change. To change what we have today for it to be fit. For it for it to be fit for the language or for the learn for uh for the language or for the learning to be fit in our current state. We were use we are interviewing what experts of course we need to ex to interview experts because they are the one who study and master the language second students we need uh to interview the students for them for us to know if they really understand they really understand or uh if it is effective for them to learn in that uh, specific area and the stakeholders of course we need to uh to include the uh the stakeholders <laughs> we need to know uh their uh their views if what we have today or what what we were teaching today or what uh what we are teaching today about the language is still current The next would be observation, job shadowing, and analysis. While performing a language-related task like reading or writing, these approaches can be conducted in their job in an academic content. Uh, in, this, uh, in this method, uh, we, are, we are conducting it currently or during uh, this is the during part. This is the during process. Observation. We were observing how they use the language. Uh, it can be, uh, like what I've said earlier, it can be written, it can be oral. We were, they, uh, they are, or we are anal analyzing the language and how, how they were using the language <laughs> in the task, in related tasks like reading and writing. The next would be study of students' multiple intelligence and learning. ESP practitioners use standard instruments and other methods for determining students' approaches to learning and text production such as protocols and interviews. Of course, we need to uh, identify the multiple intelligence and the learning styles of our students. Why? There are students who are good when it comes to uh, oral recitations, and there are students who are not uh, good at oral recitations, but in written, written, uh, written activities. Why do we need to uh, learn their learning styles for us to develop and help them to uh, and help them to? To, uh, to go out of their shelves and try if uh, there are possible learning styles that they can uh, they can use while they were learning. Kasi nga, di ba, uh, we have, it's because we have students who are, uh, they are learning by group. 
and then we have uh, we have uh, students who learn by just themselves. We we must know uh those things. It's because we can use it in our uh, activities. We can use it in doing uh doing activities, giving their giving them uh things to do for them to uh for them to appreciate the language yun kasi yung mahirap when we were teaching the language in language in language we need to uh we need we need the students to appreciate the language for them to learn that's the difference of uh, teaching the language and the other areas and the other subjects next will be mode of uh, working and its assessment may thus include analysis on how the theme work in target content breakdowns in attack in negotiation in culturally mixed group and other factors that may inhabit or enhance success so and Morsha 2014 uh, in this one, we can see that uh, how team works in a target content. Of course, when we gather our data, when we gather, when we gather our all data regarding to to uh to the language, we need to break it down. We need to uh check uh, carefully if this. Uh, if this data would be suitable to the uh to the improvement of on how we will uh we will use the language how we will use the language sorry ma'am and how we will use the language Sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. As I've said earlier, uh, we need to look through the data that we've gathered when we were we were um, when we were enhancing on how we will teach the language. Of course. Uh, in the data we've gathered, we need we need to break it down and eliminate those who with those we think those what we think is not essential in developing the language. Another is that we need to uh, we need to consider the culture. The culture and uh, the indifferences, indifferences of our uh, indifferences of the learners when we were doing next would be spoken and written reflection in reflection. Stakeholders were allowed to look back on what they have accomplished and accomplished in the ESP program. These reflections can be maximized to identify how a current plan should do in the future programs. Of course, when we were doing when, <coughs> when we were doing uh, are it's like doing a research, okay? We need to look back on the previous research for us to came up with the new, uh, with the new, for us to can contribute to the new body of language. We can't do, or we we can't produce new ways of learning the language if we don't know what are the things or what are the uh, existing body of language. Another is it 
can help us to formulate to formulate new ways of learning the language it's because we can find or we can uh, see the things that lacking in their work na nakita natin doon sa gawa natin na nakita natin doon sa mga nagodered natin na dita that's why in making uh, in making or in doing a new way of teaching the language in a specific course we need to look we need to look back diba nga sabi nga uh, for us to be able to see our presence we need to look back at our uh, at our past same goes with this uh with the needs assessment we need to look back for the for the previous or for the past uh, studies for us to be able to see if uh, we can contribute to the new body of language I, uh, now we're done with the next uh, assessment let's proceed to the relating to content of occupations this is in each other now. It emphasizes that the ESP practitioners must continuously assess what types of content are central and how content is valued. The relationship between vocabulary and central concepts, aside from the consideration to the content, choosing what content that motivates the students, those topics that this crucial stakeholders want to address is crucial to the curriculum design. Of course, we need to always uh, look at the content, at the central, for us uh, to know if we uh, if we're developing it, or we are developing the ESP or specific English for a specific purpose, we are de developing it for the same purpose. Mahirap kasi na, uh, there are times kasi when we want, we want to discover new things, we want to uh, uh, give additional to the body of language, nalalayo tayo. Uh, from the central or from the bottom of the, lumalabas tayo, umuusap tayo ng kaunti. Just, uh, uh, just because we want to contribute something new, which is wrong. Why? Again, we were talking about ESP specific specific purpose. We were uh we were we were doing it. We were enhancing. We were enhancing uh the teaching of language because of the purpose because of the specific specific purpose in a specific subject in a specific uh. Of course, kung lalayo tayo, there is a possibility din na lalayo yung magiging study. Tapos, hanggang sa mangyari na hindi na pala siya papasok. Hindi na siya papasok doon sa mismo pinag-aaralan. Yes, uh, we developed something, but that is uh, far from what the students really need in their, uh, in their area, in their field. We were developing ESP for them, uh, for them to be able to communicate with their, uh, with their colleagues, for them to uh, have uh, one knowledge about that language. Like for example, in uh, in doctors, diba? In doctors, uh, we they have uh, medical terms. That is also one of the use of ESP. They have medical terms in english uh in uh bachelor of science in secondary education we uh the uh the learning of english or the teaching of english in uh english students are more deeper than uh than the students with uh this than the students who are majors in math why? Kasi hindi naman nila ganun, hindi naman nila ganun kailangan yung English. In math, 
they need to understand for them to solve the knowledge. I, I mean, the, the problem. For them to solve the problem. Like in English, they need to what? They need to break it down into pieces for them to be able to teach it in their uh, future students. How grammar, uh, syntax, is related to one another. Unlike in math, we just need uh, English, English for them to be able to understand the problem. Then last would be identifying and analyzing the essential language and discourses. Language analysis has always been a critical issue in curriculum design. Sometimes in 1960, the focus shift on grammatical and lexical features of the language. The shift caused the practitioner to consider the register of language to be a matter of concern since ESP caters to its stakeholders' needs in their uh, line of job. That's what I've said earlier. Na yun nga, diba? It's very crucial. It's very a uh, critical issue. In deciding or analyzing in a, uh, a language, it's because we uh, each courses uses language differently. Each language, uh, each courses requires the knowledge differently. Yes, we were speaking uh, the same language or we were speaking English for us to understand one another. But when it comes... But when it comes to the need, needs in, in the field or when we were going to use it outside, it's different. It is uh, different from one another. Yes, we know English. That's it. Uh, English, what we were using now is English or medium is English. But it, dif it differs the way we use it in our field. Sabihin na natin, in medical terms, yes. They were saying uh, different, uh, they were using medical terms. Like for example, in, uh, in math, when I was in engineering, when I was taking, when, when I took up engineering, we were always saying na, okay, look at the angle, angle 90 degrees, you will see it as English me uh, uh I mean as uh engineering students we understand each other. Yes, we use the English, but then we use it differently. Like okay, uh angle 90 degrees, you have to look this simple as that. But but when we were but now I am in, in English major, we were not doing that because it's just a bit of my class 90, 90 degrees and 90 degrees when when do we, sa, 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 sa kami titingin dyan? So you see, uh, yes, we were speak, we were talking about English language, but when we will use it, it's different from one another based on how different courses understand each other by using the same language. So, that's uh, the end of our discussion for today. Questions po? Wala na po. Salamat po. Um, tapos na po. Okay, good. <coughs> Asa na nga ba yung motivation mo? <laughs> Kaya nga ako natawa kanina mam eh. <laughs> Wala ka rin evaluation. Hindi mo rin tinanong. Ah, kasama ba yung natanong yun, ma'am? <laughs> 